Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel McFarland. I'm the Director of Psycho-Oncology at University of Rochester. I'm a psychiatrist and a medical oncologist, and I had a educational symposium on the patient portal uh, and its uses and the ways in which it challenges communication uh, in basically modern-day oncology. Uh, this is all coming about due to the 21st Century Cures Act and subsequently the um, uh, blocking rule, which basically says that um, not only notes but results uh, from the EMR or EHR are uh, immediately shared with patients and family. Uh, and long story short is that we presented the background of the legislation, etc. We had a patient advocate who presented her side of using uh, uh, open notes and uh, for for actually several years and how she's sort of found the experience. We also had a medical oncologist who shared her perspective uh, in terms of um, what it means for the work burden. And I represented psychiatry um, and I spoke about the role of trust and communication uh, in, in the usage of the patient portal. Long story short, essentially, I think that this isn't necessarily a paradigm shift in communication, but it does put the onus on the medical oncologist or clinicians in general and patients and family to basically um, think through proactively how they want to engage in communication. Um, it also puts an onus on clinicians in particular in terms of uh, needing to be prepared in a way that we haven't been in the past. Um, and that's important to acknowledge because obviously we're talking about information that um, is emotionally laden and sensitive. Um, and so these conversations are happening, that is end of life conversations, changing therapy conversations, interpretation of scans, interpretation of results. So they're happening in real time faster than in, than in the past. Bottom line is that um, I think at its, it is worst, the new sort of form of communication uh, could be dangerous in the sense that it's a kind of what we used to call truth dumping. At its best, uh, it works very well to basically enhance shared decision making. Uh, and so obviously it's here to stay. It is going to be a part of how we communicate with patients and how patients communicate with us. And overall in the, the literature, the little amount of literature that there is suggests that actually people are happy with it. Um, but it, it does, like I said, uh, put the onus on both the clinician and the patient to, to discuss ahead of time how they're going to use uh, the portal. And so admittedly, there's probably not been a lot of um, training in this area, and hopefully we're going to see that moving forward. I think more is to come, and hopefully research uh, will be forthcoming uh, to help guide us in this, in this really important and actually exciting area of communication and oncology. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onca Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.